This is part two of a video series on how to chroma key using paint.net. At the end of the first part, we had taken a photo, removed the background, or chroma keyed the background out, and then we saved it as a PNG file so that the background would remain transparent. In this part, we are going to uh, superimpose two photos together along with this one, so three in total, uh, to create a composite photo. So basically we start with this first photo and then I'm going to drag another photo in and you're going to add it as a layer. I'm going to go ahead and you click on this tool which allows you to um, move the ball to where you want it and then I'm going to size it by grabbing one of the corners so that looks like a good size and then we're going to move it here again alright so that's the first photo and basically what I did there was I um, got a PNG image so you can see that the background of this crystal ball is also transparent so that's very important okay so now let's go back and drag and drop a second or a third image I guess and you would add it as a layer and actually it's important over here along the right hand side you can see the different layers up here so the first thing I'd like to do is size this image to the full size of the screen or the page and then now of course the problem is it's on top of the other two so you can't see it so all you have to do is select the layer that you want to work on and then you can either move it up or down so I'm going to move it down a layer and you'll see the crystal ball show up and if I do that so now um, now you can see all three images so if we want to file save this and let's just put it here and we'll say uh, girl holding crystal ball and if you save it as a paint.net let's go ahead and do that then that's a project file within paint it's not actually the photo itself but all three layers are separate and if you wanted to come back and work on it some more like maybe remove one layer and change the ball to a green ball or something like that you would want to open this file but if you wanted to save this let's go ahead and save as let's call it the same thing but you can call it, uh, save it as a JPEG or a PNG since we don't care about transparency we can go ahead and save this as a JPEG and then save the file say OK and then it's going to ask you if you want to flatten it which means um, bring all the three layers together now at this point this photo cannot be re-edited easily um, the same way that the project file is and there you have it you've superimposed three photos together um, and saved it as a JPEG